Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, last one on the whole judge not lest you be judged thing. Um, it should go without saying that this doesn't apply to actual judges. Like if God has given you the vocation of judge, you kind of have to. It, it would be a sin not to live inside of your vocation to serve your neighbor. But that's just it. The vocation of judge is given to serve the neighbor. This is a question of are you helping or hurting? Judges help society by helping to keep everything in good order by punishing evil that good may thrive. If you are a judge, you sort of have to judge. But if you're not, you probably shouldn't. Sin breaks stuff. And so when we break the Eighth Commandment, you shall not bear false testimony against your neighbor. It's going to hurt. So we can actually kind of tell how to deal with each other. Is this helping or hurting? Luther writes, Let this then be a rule that you do not too readily spread evil concerning your neighbor and slander him to others, but admonish him privately that he may amend his life. Likewise also, if someone report to you what this or that one has done, teach him too to go and admonish him personally if he have seen it himself, and if not, that he hold his tongue. So that means if you see somebody doing something harmful, something dangerous, something you know to be sinful and Maybe you ought to go and talk to them privately instead of telling 10 other people. Which one's helpful? Which one hurts? It makes it pretty easy to see. If you actually care about this person and you want to see them succeed, if you actually want to see them not hurt, telling 10 other people isn't going to do anything to help with that. But going and admonishing them privately, saying, hey, I know this thing to be dangerous and wrong and sinful and painful, and I actually want to see you do better for it, so can we talk about it? That actually might help. But telling ten other people, gossiping, ruining a reputation, breaking the Eighth Commandment, that's always going to hurt. And it's the same when other people come gossiping to you. When somebody comes to you with a great story about how somebody else did something terrible, they're really, they're the first question out of your mouth ought to be, have you talked to them about it? Is this helping or hurting right now? Would it maybe be better to go and talk to them and not to us? You see, when we're actually called to love our neighbor in the Ten Commandments, and especially in the second table, that means working for their good. That means actually sitting down with them, even the sinners, and being honest, but also working in love to move towards something better, something holy, something pure. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.